Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 ES calculator to solve the question which related to the PASM cumulative distribution, which is a short form we call PASM CD. But before I go into the question, I want to teach you about the formula first. Okay, whenever we talk about PASM CD, the question always related to the inequality sign. Means like you will see something like x is less than r example, or x is less or equals to r, or x is bigger than r, or x is bigger or equals to r. Right. So therefore, whenever we want to use the passum CD, we always have this kind of inequality sign. If you see the sign is equal only, we will use back the passum PD. All right. This is a difference between passum CD and passum PD. All right. So if we have the inequality sign, how are we going to simplify from this formula so that we can do really fast? Okay, so here I'm going to teach you about how to simplify the formula. So I give uh, some example. Let's say today I have something like x is less or equals to 3. If you learn about cumulative distribution, you know that this one basically is x equals to 0 plus x equals to 1 plus x equals to 2 plus x equals to 3. Definitely over here, we're not going to like use like this formula for like four times here. So this is the reason why I want to teach you how to simplify it. But before that, I just uh, show you the original methods first. So, okay, you should understand like exponent power of negative lambda. This is just a constant because this value doesn't affect that by r. You don't see any r here. So this is just any constant value. Right now, my x equals 0 means my r is 0, right? So here I have something like uh, lambda power of 0 over 0 factorial. Okay, then the next one, I will do the same thing. It's e negative lambda. All right, this is lambda 1 over 1 factorial. And then the next one is e negative lambda. And then this one will be lambda square over 2 factorial. And then this one is e negative lambda and then this one is lambda power of 3 over 3 factorial. Okay, if you see carefully here, you realize all also have the same e power negative lambda either. It means what? I can actually factorize out e power negative lambda. And then any number power of 0, which, which is 1. And 0 factorial is still 1. So the first number is always 1. Then the next one is basically is lambda over 1 factorial is 1, so it's over 1, so you can ignore about over 1. Then the next one is basically lambda square over 2 factorial or 2. Then the next one is lambda cube over 3 factorial. Okay, so if over here, I want to plus one more, x equals to 4, just example, then I know it's basically lambda power 4 over 4 factorial. So if I want to plus one more, let's say x equals to 5, then we'll just do something like lambda power 5 over 5 factorial. So you get the idea here, isn't it? But over here, because it's less than equals to 3, so we should stop at uh, lambda power of 3 over 3 factorial. Alright, this is how we actually like do the x is less or equals to 3 really fast by using this formula. Okay, so this formula we will use for Parsons CD. But before I go into the question, I want to mention one more part. Because for Parsons distribution, right, we don't have the n value. So if today I have something like x is bigger than 4, example. So normally when we do the distrib uh, cumulative distribution, we will do something like, oh, x equals to 5 plus x equals to 6. And then keep on plus, isn't it? But because you don't have the n value, you do not know when you should stop here. So then you need to keep on plus until x equals to n, which is sort of the infinity. You keep on need to do the same thing again and again. So which is not possible in this topic. So whenever we have something like no matter it's bigger or bigger or equal, so our concept is we want to use the 1 to minus the probability which we do not want, which is in this case, if you want to plus from 5 all the way to n, we will use 1 to minus x equals to 0, minus x equals to 1, and then we minus x equals to 2, and then we will minus x equals to 3, and then we will minus the last one, which is x equals to 4. 
then because we know that uh, for Parson distribution, if you plus from x equals to zero all the way to the last one, x equals to n, we will always get one. So if you use the one to minus all the probability we do not want here, we can actually get the same result uh, with we plus from five all the ways to the end here. Okay, this is something I think is very important concept because in this topic, whenever you see the sign which is bigger or bigger and equal, you always need to use one to minus the probability you do not want. All right, this is something very crucial. All right, right now we go to uh, one of the example I prepared to make you understand better. Okay, this example I make it up myself so that which is not the real value in, in our daily life. Okay, just in Malaysia, okay, let's say in Malaysia, we have average about 2.4 people have died from the COVID-19 every day. So find the probability that at least three people have died from COVID-19 each day. All right, so like I say, for this kind of topic, right, first thing is you want to make sure they have the same time value. So here say about every day, here say about each day, so it's kind of the same value, then it's fine. All right, then over here, what I will do is I will just write down my person uh, mean value, which is average 2.4. So this is 2.4. All right, PO stands for the person here. All right, right now, what the question want to find? The question want to find at least three people. So it's basically X is bigger or equals to three. Okay, like normally you will just do about uh, three plus four plus five plus six. But like what I say just now, in this topic, right, whenever you see at least, you need to use one to minus the probability you do not want. You can put a bracket and then you plus all of them here. So this one is like start from three, doesn't it? So what we want to do is, uh, we want to do something like, okay, probability x equal to zero, definitely they do not want, uh, which is any value less than three. Lah. All right, this is x equals to one, obviously they do not want, x equals to two, also they do not want, and x equals to three they want, so we shouldn't include the three, because yeah, this one starts from three, doesn't it? So we kind of need to plus uh, zero, one, and two here. Okay, then what we want to do is, we will use back the, method just now, which is we will write about e negative lambda. And then the first value is always one. The second value is basically uh, is a lambda. Then the next value is lambda square over two factorial. All right, the next one is lambda cube over three factorial, but we will stop at two here. All right, we have our lambda here, and then our lambda, which is our average value, which is 2.4. Then I can just insert like this, negative 2.4 and then bracket 1 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 square over 2. 2 factorial is just 2. And then we stop here. All right, then we just use the calculator to solve for uh, the rest of the thing here. Shift exponent and then negative 2.4. And then I will put a bracket for it. 1 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 square over 2. All right, then I will just close the bracket I will get an answer something like uh, 0 0.4303. Okay, but over here, I just want to check if I doesn't do the 1 minus, I want to know like what is the value I got at the back so that uh, when I want to double check with my calculator, which is easier for me. Okay, so this one, I mean the value here will give me about 0 0.56. Uh, nine seven. Okay, okay. Right now, if you want to use the calculator, right, you must know the pattern of this calculator. All right. If I go into the distribution, I come down to the Parsons CD. Okay. Over here, we have a look at the variable first. Okay. I go to the variable. You realize this calculator they doesn't let you choose whether you want to uh, do something like bigger or less than because normally uh, if you go to a more advanced calculator they have something like uh, upper bound and lower bound okay because this calculator they already preset for the passam cd they already preset x is always less than equals to a so basically the x value you insert here okay is you insert for the a value here and then the sign is always less and equal so this is uh, this is something very important. You must 
remember this one so that you can use the calculator correctly to get the correct answer. So here, you need to ask yourself what x value you should key in. Because if you key in like 3 in this case, then you will get x is less or equal to 3, which is not correct here. Why? Because this one actually included 3. But then when we want to do the 1 minus, we want to minus the value uh, shouldn't include the 3. So therefore, when I want to key in here, I will only use 2. Okay, because whatever inside the bracket here is basically x is less or equals to 2, isn't it? Because x is less than equals to 2, basically it's 0 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so over here you cannot use 3 unless today uh, I have something like x is bigger than 3. Then this one starts from 4, right? Then if you want to do the minus, then here I can type 3. But in this case, I will just type 2. Okay, then I enter again. Okay, my lambda is very easy, 2.4 here. Then I type enter. Enter one more time. You realize I can get 0 0.5697. 0 0.5697. Okay, so if you want to use 1 minus it, normally you can type, just go to the menu, go to 1. You do 1 minus your answer just now. Yeah, this calculator can remember whatever answer you have just now. Then you will get the final answer, which is 0 0.4303, which is exactly the same value here. Alright, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the Voucher. First, you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store. And then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and you click on it and you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye